finally finished the move. Got everything in here, just got to unpack it and set it up. Brought some of the Christmas ornaments, eh? Those are cool. Older ones. But we're not here to talk about Christmas or Christmas ornaments. We're here to get the hell on the road and go get some grails.700 meters we turn right and then another minute down that road we'll have our grails guys so wow the guy with the sign here he looks better than the ones in Hamilton doesn't look like he's all drug addled oh check that out guys 
Look where we're at. A couple more minutes. Even That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, it's a little dusty right now, unfortunately, but ain't it's been sitting in here for probably hasn't wow. turned tire in about eight years. And how many miles? Forty thousand? Forty eight thousand. Oh man, and he's got the real toys too in there. Well, we got the cars without incident. We ended up taking the 407, so it was way, way quicker to get here. Had to stop and go piddle. Uh, Glenn's inside getting a the coffee. Then we're going to go home and show you the cars. Unbox the bullet. And Glenn's going to show you the deal he got on his cars. He got a good deal. Ooh, look at that white stuff on the ground, guys. We don't got that in the hammer. They can keep that right where it is. And all the cars we got today are uh, either good older uh, makers or they're really high-end ones. Actually, we didn't get any uh, green light. I said it. Uh, take a quick peek at mine now that we're pulled over. Awesome seller, 100 bucks, because he knew it was going to my collection. Well, it was a very successful trip, guys. As you see, the guy was cool as hell. Turned out he had a... What year was that Mustang one? 67, Seven? I believe. Uh, 67 Mustang. I thought it was a 70, but I could be wrong. Um, his grandfather or uncle, his uncle had it since new and he inherited it and his father wouldn't let him have it till he was responsible because he would have wrecked it but the thing's mint a uh, really cool guy awesome guy and uh he gave good deals because um he just basically does what i do he wants his money back like he enjoyed them for years and he just tried to get his money back really cool dude and I told him, I said, well, that bullet Mustang is going to be going into my collection. So I'm not, it's not, I'm not taking it to flip it or anything like that. So, uh, and what I always am paranoid about, he told me happened. He said he had about six messages for the bullet Mustang after I messaged him. And a couple people offered him over $200 for it, but he said, no, a deal is a deal. And I did that a couple years ago to somebody that was trying to buy somebody. It was a Star Wars statue I was selling for a friend. I let this girl have it for $100 for her husband. Like it was a new family, a young family, didn't have a lot of money. And a guy offered me $200 for the Star Wars statue. And I just, dude, I don't do business like that. I said, if she doesn't show up, you could buy it for no, she ended up showing up and I told her about the guy and it was funny she looked at me right away and said I don't have any more money I said I don't want any more money I'm just telling you what a dickhead people can be I said I would never ever ask for extra money for that I don't work like that thankfully Tim was the gentleman's name he doesn't work like that either he told me he can't believe people would ask him that and I said yeah it's people are like that so that's why when I make a deal, I try to close the deal right away, get it paid, done. But when we get back, we're going to show you what Glenn got. He got a really good deal on two one of 18 scale cars. So when we get back, we'll have a look. Don't mind the bumpy roads, guys. I just have one pit stop to make. We beat the snow and rain and everything else back here, it looks like. So that went without incident. We seen, I wish I got footage of it. I don't want to tell you how quick I was going, but there was a newish Mustang that blew by us. He must have been doing 160. It was crazy, but just going to hand in my apartment keys now because by the time we got finished last night, it was like 10 o'clock at night, and yeah, I didn't want to wake up the landlord. So going to hand him in now and then going home to unbox. Speed bump. Oh, guys. Now, naturally, my only quibble about this is the color. Uh, but this is the best of the best when it comes to the bullet, except for the color. Um, 
even like the box they just did different than all the other companies they did different coloring stuff like that and here is the partner let's crack this open here yeah guys she's a beauty check that out i'm happy the original hurdle we won't get too into it though until the other one's unboxed i want to get the two of them together so here is the total haul guys Glenn got these original ones that he was saying to me, look, one's Joyride, one's American Muscle. I said, both Ertl. Both of them Ertl. But those are awesome. We're going to get a better look at those as well. We're not going to crack those because those are Glenn's. I'm not going to tell you the cost he paid for them because I'm a gentleman, but he got a smoking deal on them. For these two here, I paid a buck eighty for those two together. In case you're wondering, it looks like the guy on the painting's coming out of the hood, eh? But, yeah, we're going to crack that open and have a look at this uh, auto art bullet. Now, I cannot wait to have a look at that thing. Now, if you remember before, the Ertl Mustang bullet, if you go back in my videos, the Ertl Mustang bullet beat the green light out because um, of major mistakes that uh, the green light made, but they had to pay... Uh, the detailing was excellent, but they just made such big uh, accuracy mistakes that the Ertl, the older Ertl bullet smoked it. So it's going to be interesting to see about uh, how this auto art one is, how, even how the doors open and close, stuff like that. I cannot wait to see this one. It's apparently the best of the best, so I can't wait to check it out with you guys. And did I say that word... We're back. So before I show you the auto art bullet, we crack into that. I wanted to show you something cool that I found in my moving. This is my scrapbook from when I was a kid. Remember those out of the, uh, you got little books. Those aren't the hostess chip ones or the little books. But I'll show you the type of stuff I had. So this is dated 1987. My sister that passed away, her name is on it as well. Uh, but this is just the type of stuff I was into, wrestling stuff. There's the fabulous Moolah. But I got real cool stuff. I got the whole, see, when I was a kid, now I had these full sets still in the cellophane as well, but I sold them with my wrestling stuff. But I have these uh, loose unwrapped ones. See, when you were a kid, you didn't think about saving stuff wrapped, right? But I got the whole set of those. And not only those, I've got the other set. Well, I'll show you some pictures first. I went to the uh, wrestling used to come to my town and it was never like WWF. Or, well, actually, when I was a teenager, WWF did come once, but it's the only time they came and it wasn't all pyrotechnics. Um, but here are some of the guys that used to come. And I seen Abdullah the Butcher as well once when I was a kid, get bloody in Sault Ste. Marie. Not sure if you could see the pictures clearly, but. Let's see if there's any, uh, oh, cool. I got some autographs. They used to buy programs at the uh, shows and they would have a spot to get autographs. Look at that guy, eh? This guy here, that's funny with the belt. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I just got uh, autographs, cut stuff out of magazines. Like it was just a scrapbook, literally my scrapbook from 1987. Oh, this is interesting. So there's that guy that used to spit green stuff, Muda, whatever his name was. But I cut out two newspaper articles from back in the day. Hi guys, two professional wrestlers known as Hacksaw and the Iron Sheik portrayed as arch enemies in the ring had been suspended by the World Wrestling Federation after being found together in a car in Middleton, New Jersey with marijuana and cocaine. 
Hossern, Missouri, the Sheik, and James Hacksaw Duggan were charged with drug possession. That was such a big deal. They both got fired. I watched that on an interview with these guys, and Vince McMahon said, what have you done to us? Because at the time, they were supposed to be, you know, good versus bad, right? And they were both in the same car riding together, and they got caught. But there is the whole set of the Hostess stickers again. These ones down here aren't part of the Hostess ones, just these ones. This is the other release of them. Got the whole set of them. But yeah, that's what uh, this, wrestling and Nintendo, when, uh, if you were growing up in my era, era, those were the big things. And if you were a cool kid or had a cool sled, it was a GT Snow Racer. But let's get into this, guys. This is one I thought that I would never, ever own. Uh came up on Marketplace and how it worked is sometimes you got to think outside the box with searching. I seen a guy that had a really good deal on a car, but it wasn't a car that I needed because I already have it. But he had the Joyride Ertl Acto 1, the 1 of 21 scale for a hundred bucks. And it was mint in the box sealed. And I said, well, whenever I see a good deal like that, I see what else they got. Holding the box still for, so you guys can see. Uh, but I, I always say, what else do they got? I just want to show you guys the back of the box again. It's so cool what they did with the art. Showing you guys this, and I'm going to see my daughter tonight. I'm going to get a nap in, though. I'm going to get a nap in because I've been going since early. And because I've been going so hard moving and working, friggin' my lower back that hasn't bothered me for years. I've got osteoarthritis in my lower back, and I've got something called degenerative disc disease from a back injury I had. And a couple years ago, like, that's what got me on the opiates, because the doctor friggin' prescribed me hydromorphone and all that other junk for my back. Um... And that's what started it. But the uh, back, the last couple of years, has been a lot better. Because I got back in shape and stuff like that with a very physical job. Um, but I was getting, before, needles in the back of the stuff that they use to freeze your teeth. But only if they do it in back, in backs in particular, or other places. It lasts for months, the freezing. The, the doctor said it's a mystery how it works. They're not sure how it works, but it does work. And it was working for a long time, but then I didn't need it for a long time. But this week I overdid her and I needed it. Now, I'm not familiar. I've never cracked an auto art, guys. Now this here, as you can see, the plastic is has a chink in it. So I'm going to try to maybe see if I could fix it or maybe I'll get a replacement plastic off a of my store or something because it's pretty thin plastic. The uh, rest of the box is mint. You can see the ribbing on the box and stuff. Glenn's car, same thing. Everything was mint. Uh, he said that when he got them new, he would take them, out, like crack them, basically inspect them, take the... Uh, is there paperwork with this? This is my first auto or look at this paperwork even. Um, but uh, he would just inspect them, obviously take the straps off. Now this base is made to display it on a slant. Like I said, this is different. This is auto art. There's um, even tissue paper in the inside of the box from, oh, the, from the factory. Oh yeah, there is tissue paper. Okay, so let's see what this Auto art, authentic die cast models, 112, 118, 143, 164. Oh, cool. It shows some uh, movie cars, the James Bond ones. They auto art did the James Bond ones. They did the Mad Max ones. I just seen Highway 61 did a Fast and Furious one. The blue Yanko Camaro I seen somebody had. This is the one we got right here, guys. 100 bucks. I dare you to find one for a hundred bucks on Kijiji or Marketplace. I was so lucky. Literally, he put it up. I found it 
And then six guys messaged him within five minutes, he said. And one of them was offering him a couple bills for it, but he had honor. And he said, no, I made a deal with this other gentleman. I'm going to keep the deal. And it worked out good for him because I told him, I said, you know, your prices are good. I passed on the word to my collector buddies and uh, he sold some cars. Oh, I've seen this Mustang around actually, the, that auto art one that they did. This one? Yeah. But yeah, Auto Art is known for making high-end stuff. My brother, they made the newer bullet, too. The one that came out in uh, 2000, what is it, 10? Or 2001. Wow, I didn't realize it was that old. Uh, my brother, the only die-cast car he has is an Auto Art 118 scale Porsche that I helped him get. He... Had a Porsche 911 GT Turbo, whatever. It was a fancy one, an older one, but beautiful condition, like early 2000s. And he wanted me to find him the replica of it. I've seen the uh, this one here by Auto Art. That's super detailed, the Wagoneer. But I've seen it in different colors. Oh, they made the Grand Cherokee. Grand Cherokee, yeah, even. The white one or the black one. Yeah. It looked like a Wagoneer above the white one. Those Jeep Grand Cherokees actually have uh, some snot because one of my old roommates had one and I used to drive it all the time. It could lay a pretty good patch. Oh, cool. They did a Lincoln Navigator even. They just did stuff that you wouldn't think, you know, you wouldn't expect. Lincoln Navigator, um, Lotus Esprit Turbo Black, Lexus IS 300. There's a lot of them, guys, so I'm just going to try to find cool ones to show you. Oh, they did a Nissan Skyline R34, different colors. You know, those are hot castings. And auto work, guys, if you want a car like your favorite car done in a good job, auto work is up there. Like I said, the only possible quibble I have about this, well, I don't know yet because I haven't had a good look, but is the um they did police vehicles too is the color but i'm gonna explore even the hinges and everything just having a look to make sure we didn't miss any gold here guys Ooh, some subarus trophy trucks um yeah this is my first auto art though so don't want to miss anything. And that means if you're watching my videos, unboxings, it's your first auto art watching Retro Collectibles open his first auto art. Yeah, because I always said auto art is beautiful, but I won't pay like three, four hundred bucks. That's a, uh, yeah. But this is an example, guys. Always be cautious because... A lot of people, including myself, would say this car for a hundred bucks is a total red flag. That's something I need to get right there. Uh, they call it a rotary display stand, a turntable. I got one, but it's tiny. I'm gonna get a bigger one. Um, but you, uh, you know, you use caution, obviously, when shopping for this stuff. And somebody was asking me if this one had the antenna. Yes, it does. Apparently, they made three three or four different releases, Auto Art. This is the first release, and apparently, it's the best release, according to people. See, it's got an antenna glint. Mm -hmm. um, Unfortunately, it's got that little chrome thing beside the door that's not supposed to be there. Yeah, true enough. But uh, the quality of it, I'm going to take it right off the thing. Um Oh, the hinges open really nice. I'm going to show you guys this off the base, guys, but this is detailed. The hood opens beautiful. The, uh, oh, the doors open. The hinges are gorgeous, guys. And I'm going to guess, unlike the Ertl, yeah, the trunk opens. What's in the trunk? Spare tire. Spare tire in the trunk. But yeah, I'm going to take it off the base to show you guys. Uh, yeah, but the, so one of these for $100 is a red flag. Uh, you would never, like, if I would have messaged this guy, said I'm interested in the bullet, and he got back to me and said, okay, well, e-transfer me. I'm out of town right now. Um, my cousin has it. He's going to meet you, or 
I live in friggin England. I'm going to mail it to you. I just posted that. Like if there's any crazy story other than can I come see it or pick it up? Um, this guy, I looked at his marketplace. I looked at his Facebook. Uh, you could usually tell when people are legit. And plus, I had seen that other people had bought stuff off him as well. And he had other normal stuff, like not just die-cast stuff. He had uh, household stuff. I brought my screwdriver set, so I've got screwdrivers. Okay, so it's got four holding it in. And it doesn't have the turnable base. This has a beautiful base. It's got the things on the end like Scarface to uh, enforce the box. Uh, reinforce the box rather um, but the base is made to show the car on that angle even holding this car it feels beautiful and we got two boxes of latex surgical gloves and I'm not even using any today like an idiot but from now on I'm gonna have uh, because I have everything in drawers organized. I'm going to have all my, you know, like my hobby stuff for unboxings in one drawer. And the gloves are going to be in there as well. So when I go get the proper screwdriver or whatever I need, I'll have gloves at the same time. And of course, if we're going to do this, we're going to save all the screws, everything it came with. Ooh, careful, careful guy. Okay, so you know we're going to have a look around the car, then we're going to get some glamour shots. I'm going to show you guys a better look at Glenn's cars. We're not going to unbox them, but we're going to show you a better look. Now, my only quibble is the paint. The rims look beautiful, but they look a little bit different, but they look beautiful. Um, the tires feel gorgeous. Oh, is it? yeah, the tires feel great. Wow. Steering feels tight. It just feels quality. No pony on the grill. There's not supposed to be. Ooh, that engine is super detailed. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the quality is definitely here, guys. Like, um, I liked my Ertl one, but this one. The one complaint I had about my Ertl was I said, oh, there's a couple things in the engine I'm going to touch up. This has already been done. Like, nothing uh, has to be done under that hood. Uh, it's got the license plates being very careful with this thing just showing you guys the uh no i don't see any number on it 118 ford mustang auto art now apparently now this is the bullet mustang you could see the license plate apparently if you want it to go cheaper an old school collector told me that you can get the exact same auto art Mustang, same color even. I, I, it just doesn't say bullet anywhere on the box. Um, and it's a lot cheaper, but it looks exactly the same. That spare tire in the back. That's funny, it looks like the tire is like half off the rim or whatever. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but looks cool. It's even got carpeting looking stuff in the trunk. Excellent though. Really nice. Uh, Glenn did point out one inaccuracy that was on the green light is that thing right there. The metal thing should not be there. It should be green. These doors guys, they open like I can't stress enough. These doors and hinges and the gaps are just perfect on this thing like it's not like uh some of the other ones believe it or not some of the worst doors and hinges and hoods on one of my cars is one of the, my more expensive ones my smoke Ertl smoky and the bandit jesus like the whole car is warped like nothing closes right but these wow you can almost slam them shut uh it's got the seat belts lap belt rather but I'll show you inside from the passenger side, like, guys. Yeah, other than the color, if you want a killer bullet. 
That's going to look great. And don't forget, I've got the charger I'm going to pull up here in a second and show you guys under the ring light as well. And while I do that, I'll hand this one off to Glenn to have a look. So give me one sec, I'll go get that charger. So this is one that we don't have to unbox, guys. It's already been unboxed. Uh, this is a sought after one. Now this is from the Ertl American Muscle line, the bullet line. I have the Ertl bullet model kit. I did a video putting it together. It's the Ertl bullet, the model kit. Same exact car as the Ertl 118 that you get already put together. It comes in a silver box. This is that one that comes in the silver box. It's not the Ertl Authentics one with the fancy hood hinges. Like this has regular hood hinges. I showed you the bullet that Glenn has the, uh, I'm not going to say the G word, but it's the, uh, they're in, made in conjunction with Auto World and uh, they use the Ertl Authentics casting. This is the Ertl casting. A uh, beautiful car, and if you see these in the box, they're typically 300 bucks if they're sealed in the box. You just don't see them often. But the one that Glenn has is just a touch nicer than this because it does have those fancy hinges that are super realistic. It's got, uh, Glenn's has the Ertl Authentics logo on the bottom. This just says straight up Ertl. Uh, Glenn's has suspension, this does not. Uh, but this is still gorgeous. They did a good job on it. And something with and those doors open beautiful too. Wow. And something with Ertl with black paint, I tell you. They do a good job. This is mint. Just has to be cleaned up. But you see, nicely detailed. Uh, I'm going to try to get a resin figure of the guy with the horn rim glasses driving the car in the Assassin. Definitely getting a Steve McQueen resin figure, 100%. I've got the auto art bullet. Next resin figure I get is McQueen. But how cool are these going to look together? Oh, does the trunk open? No, trunk does not open. On Glenn's trunk, on Glenn's uh, Ertl Authentics Auto World G Word bullet, the trunk opens. That bullet charger is as nice as a silver screen General Lee. Like, I don't see much difference. They use the exact same casting. They're both gorgeous. Uh, but this is gorgeous as well. So before we get glamour shots of this with the new bullet, I'm going to quickly show you Glenn's other cars here. Give me a sec under the ring light. Okay, so these Glenn got a smoking deal on. They are mint. Now, looking at these now, I wasn't going to collect these before because these are a little bit before my era, although we all know who these guys are, the Monsters. Uh, this is from 2002. Uh, they, they're both Ertl, but this one is when they were under American Muscle, you see here. Box is a tiny bit different, but mostly similar, okay? This box says New Tool. American Muscle right there, but both the boxes have the cobwebs on the plastic. Just a very well done presentation piece. I love it. And like I said, after seeing it, I might get one. Keep it sealed up in the box because I like the way it looks in the box. Uh, this one is from 2002. Actually, they got a story on the back. I'll hold it as still as I can while I read the story. In 1964, Universal Studios asked for a funky yet functional car for its new Munsters TV series. George Barris and Barris Customs delivered, giving only 21 days to produce the vehicle from a drawing. They created a vehicle combining hot rodding with antique stagecoach styling. The nearly 20 foot long vehicle featured a footman's seat. Headstone styled Model T radiator, red plush velvet upholstery, gas lanterns, curtain windows, coffin door handles, and antique lights with a spiderweb motif, befitting the ghoulish residence of 1313 Mockingbird Lane. So yeah, these are ones that down the road, if I see a good deal, like Glenn got, I think I'm going to snap them up. 
So this is from 2003. You'll notice it doesn't say American Muscle. It says Joyride. Only difference in the box. This one has windows on each end. Okay. Uh, this is from 2003. Grandpa Munster, patriarch of TV's Munster clan, was not your ordinary grandfather and neither was his ride. The George Barris built Dragula featured a casket resting, resting in peace on a tube chassis and the macabre motif was extended to the casket radiator and marble gravestone grill. The dragster threw it do the dragster drew its dying breath through bat-shaped forced air scoops and wailed through two metal organ tube exhausts. Yes, you could definitely say this was one of a kind coffin was to die for. I forgot all about this one, actually. But I, I just, I love Halloween, guys, and I just love the uh, look of the box and everything with the uh, cobwebs on the plastic. Just love the whole presentation of them. So anyway, you know what time it is? Let's get some glamours. Wow, they look great together. Now, one another feature that the Charger does not have is the roll-away headlights like uh, Glenn's does. Glenn's uh, got the one made with the Ertl Authentics casting, done in conjunction with Auto World by that company there with the G. Don't want to say it. It's our secret word. As far as quality goes... Little mistakes like the metal thing here, not supposed to be there, but these doors, guys, the hinges, the lines on this thing, like it just made with uh, precision, you know? Like, look at that. Look at the gaps. That thing's gorgeous. Yep, that's got to be one of my best deals. Um, I got my silver screen General Lee for a hundred bucks flat, but that was loose. Mint condition, but loose. Another little look at the inside here. It's got the seat belt, everything else. Very cool though. That looks real. You can't tell me that doesn't look real. It's got, wow. Blown away. Peekaboo. It's got the legit plate even. Yeah, I'm in love with it. Like the way it sits even. Very nicely done. It even rolls really nice. Like it just feels really high quality. And I've got no complaints about this old school guy either. The original Ertl. You guys know I love Ertl. You guys know where these are going to go, I bet. Sure, you could figure it out. But first, just showing you guys, it's still gorgeous, even though it's not the Ertl Authentics casting. Still beautiful. Look at that rear end. Okay, guys, you ready? Boom. Cabinet's looking good. Now here is the auto art under light. She sure is gorgeous. Definitely putting her under the lights in there. There's the new bullet, the original Ertl casting. Now this doesn't have the turning drive shaft either. Still looks gorgeous. Still waiting for the shelves to be cut for my other unit. They haven't called me yet. I dropped one off and uh, they're supposed to call me because I want to put lights and shelves in the other one and get her done. Because you guys know these aren't all my cars. Like I got those, I got some over to my right, some over to my left. Just want to get them done and displayed. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you liked it. We went a long way. That's probably the farthest way I've went Actually, no, with the pay highway, it wasn't the farthest. It was close, though. 
I've drove pretty far for a good deal, but that was totally worth it and uh, got Glenn a good deal as well. Yeah, so I apologize for the lack of videos. You guys know what I've been dealing with, but the move is over. I am out of that apartment. Keys are handed in, apartment spotless, storage lockers emptied out. Like that was such, I had to do that while I was working and I was on 4 a.m. shift. So that, and then I tweaked my neck while I was doing it. Still, even just when I moved it there, it hurt. So it wasn't a fun week, but it's over. I got everything I wanted to keep, got to purge a bunch of stuff, like even old clothes, everything, stuff I wanted to get rid of for a long time. Streamline my uh, possessions, which I wanted to do for so long. And uh, yeah, so now all I got to do is organize it into my space and I'm good to go. But I've got everything over here. Yeah, I got everything. So once it's all set up, of course, I'm going to show you guys. Come on. And that other cabinet's in the process of being built. Shelves are ordered. We're just waiting for them to come in. And as soon as the shelves come in, you know I'm going to get more lights. I might even add more of those lights to that one there. Like Glenn suggested, maybe put one on the bottom uh, where the A-Team van is. What do you guys think? Let me know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. No, I did not quit YouTube. I was just moving and too tired. And you guys wouldn't have wanted to see me like that because I get crabby and I'm not fun when I'm crabby. So uh, please smash the like button for me. Click the bell notification if you want to stay in touch with my videos. Please subscribe and share. And as always, guys, happy hunting.